How are you? Right. Hey man, how's it going? Pretty good. How about you? Pretty good. Got all the controllers, the console, okay. and all the cords. All right. And I wrap the power cord and the uh, AV cord around it. Okay. Thirty bucks. Yes, sir. All right. All right. I appreciate Thank it, man. You. All right, folks, we got a package in today. And we're gonna go ahead and dive on in and see what's going on with this. All right, so, got a Game Boy Color, uh, Game Boy Pocket, and a DMG. And no note. So uh, it does say who it's from. So I'm going to go back through my Facebook and Instagram messages, see if I can find this person, and figure out what's going on with this package. Um, there are some uh, some some Game Boys here, so not sure what he's wanting done. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out, and I'll. I'll uh, keep you updated about it. All right, folks, on to the next. Alright folks, got a package in today from Special Reserve Games. Pretty happy about this. I already know what it is. Got the email saying that it had been shipped. And what we've got here is the Hotline Miami collection for the Switch. And there were 8,000 of these made. This one is number 4,466 of 8,000. Uh, the cool thing that Special Reserve did is if you bought this, uh, the day that it came out, they, um, they gave you a free download code to be able to download the game onto the Switch and go ahead and start playing it. That is a fantastic idea. I think more of these companies should do something like that, like limited run games, um, special reserve games, strictly limited, uh, those type of companies give the download code away for free. That's, that's a fantastic idea. That way we can go ahead and start playing the game and we can keep our physical copy sealed. But, uh, that's, that's pretty badass right there. 
All right, folks. On to the next. And did you have a membership card in this? Uh, no, I don't think so. Is that one of your protections? No, that's fine. I can get it off with a, a lot of fluid. It'll peel right off. Yeah, I was in the process. Can I take a look at everything? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And we said, what, 175? Yeah. Okay. All right, that works for me. Okay. Okay, I'm going to make sure it's all there. Yep. Alright. Okay, folks, I just picked up this N64 lot for $175. We didn't go through all of it um, while picking it up. And so we're going to go through the box now. Got two aftermarket uh, controllers. The system itself. And I have already cleaned everything, so this is not in the condition I picked it up in. Uh, no expansion pack. There were two games in here that I saw that made me think that it might have an expansion pack. We got a third party power pack. Third party AV cables. Everything was third party except for the system and the games. Well, you know, you know what I mean. Alright, so first three games. We got WCW uh, versus NWO World Tour, NFL Quarterback Club 98, Bass Hunter 64, Turok 2, Toy Story 2, Donkey Kong 64, All Star Baseball 99, Super Mario 64. WCW NWO Revenge, Pokemon Snap, Knife Edge uh, Nose Gunner, and Golden Eye. Ten Eighty Snowboarding, Glover, Ocarina of Time, Hybrid Heaven, Perfect Dark. Mission Impossible, Chameleon Twist, Powerpuff Girls, Tarzan, another 1080, Forsaken 64, we got Winback, Madden 64, Banjo Tooie, pretty beat up label there. Uh, Warzone and Madden 2001. So yeah, I saw Perfect Dark, saw Donkey Kong 64. I was like, man, for sure this thing has an expansion pack, but it did not. So that's kind of a bummer right there. But there you have it, folks. On to the next. Okay, so this is everything left uh, from all the pickups that is still for sale. So we got Tarzan, Banjo Tooie, Chameleon Twist, Forsaken 64, Toy Story 2, Powerpuff Girls, Turok 2, Hybrid Heaven, 
and knife edge as well as the complete in-box uh, Rock Band 4 Stratocaster with the game. Um, there are watchers on this already. There's like four or five watchers. So it should probably sell soon. Alright. And I don't have very many, uh, many games going into the collection. But it is what it is. Most everything that was found was strictly for resale. Alright, so let's get into the games that are going into the collection. And here we go with the games going into the collection. Just these three. Hotline Miami Collection, The Last of Us Part 2, and Green Lantern. I never come across Green Lantern. They had it for a pretty decent price at GameStop, so I went ahead and picked it up. Caught them slipping on Rock Band 3. That game went up in price. They had it for $10. I sold it for $30. But there you have it folks, hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, be sure to hit the bell icon so that you receive all notifications every single time I upload new content. Hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Tatted Collector and have a good one.